This is the workbook on how to turn your innovation into a business idea. It's really important that you know how to communicate all your innovative ideas into a starter plan in one or two pages. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do this. Step one, focus on what your strategy is or what is your strategic focus. So below you're going to see the most relevant traits of your plan and you're going to circle the one that makes sense for you. Try to circle only one per row to ensure that you're focused and clear. First, start off with writing your idea name. It doesn't have to be official or perfect, but definitely write down the idea. What is your purpose? Is it to create change, help a local community, or build a business? Is your experience going to be in person, online, or a combination of both? What's the challenge that you have? Is it making your idea more clear? Understanding what your specific next steps are, or do you have all that in place and you really just need to get the idea out there and get help to turn it into a reality? And who's going to be the biggest beneficiary? And be really honest with yourself. Is this for you and your family? Is it for a local community member or is it your customers? Meaning, you know, if you're going to sell t-shirts, it might be an audience that's beyond your family and your community, although they could be impacted as well. So the second thing you're going to do is build out your idea outline. So this is how to turn the idea into reality as quickly as possible. So you're going to fill out the blank areas so you can test it. This makes sure that you can make quick changes and get people to support you before you build out a larger plan. So the first step is to write your idea name. It could be any name. It could be a code name. It can be a fun name. It could be a really long, complicated name, but give it a name. Who owns it? That probably should be you, but really write your name down there to show that you are the idea owner. Who are you going to need to help you test this idea? It could be a mentor. It could be your sister. It could be a group of 10 teenagers. It could be a group of 15 adults. Write down who needs to help you test this idea and how long do you need to test it? So, for example, if you want to... Um, build a youth group, then you might only need two weeks to do a survey of those teenagers to see if they're interested. So in that case, you would say two weeks for how long to do your test. If your test works and people love your idea, when will you want to start this for real? It could be right now. It could be two years from now. If your idea is to go to Harvard University and you have three more years of high school, then you might need to start your junior year with certain ACT or SAT test preps. Hypotheses. This is what you believe. This is what your assumption is. Just like in science, you want to put out there what you believe. I believe that helping teenagers become innovators is going to support future business growth and improve community growth in Chicago. So really try to build in that who you're going to help, what you're going to do, where it's going to happen, why it's important, and what the impact is. More money, more time, lives saved, businesses built, wealth created. What's the business impact? And then how are you going to test and verify that idea? Is it a survey? Is it a conversation? And to verify my idea, I am going to talk to five adults and if it's true and works then they will say yes I like this idea and that's the measurement piece I will measure my test using feedback or a survey score or a test score how will you know how to measure it will it be people giving a dollar if they like it and then validating if your idea is valid and worth pursuing then what would happen would it be 90% of people respond to your survey? Would it be 100% of the individuals I spoke to said they will sign up? Will it be earning $50 in the first week of sales? What is it? What does good look like? What does it mean for your test to succeed? Here is an example to get you started. So for my idea, it's teaching teens real entrepreneurship, very similar to what we're doing right now. The purpose is to create change, it's going to live online, I need to clarify my idea, 
and the beneficiaries are customers. Now here's a sample. This is somewhat similar to the program you're going through, but a very different just to give you a sense of different ideas you can put in here. So you know, to validate this idea, Kim Brown says she needs five teens to share ideas with, and I'm going to ask my friend Sarah to connect me with teenagers. And I want to know within one week if this works or not. If this works, then I want to start on March 1st. And then by June 1st, I want a team of advisors and a plan. And you can see here as you read through it, and you have this document, that a survey for the measurement, and if it works, then I want a lot of four out of five scores. So this is the overview on how to build out your business outline. Work with your facilitator and your leader. Work with your other youth program participants. Work with your colleagues. Work with your friends. Reach out for help at Centrally Human Social Media pages. We're always there to help you as well. And this plan is going to change. It's not permanent. So you can make five of these if you want. The idea is to turn your ideas into an action plan. So you can go from I wish I could to I am going to do this now. Thank you so much and we'll be seeing you soon.